Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Daunties. My name is Rochelle. I'm your favorite Donna and I've been freezing my backside off. It's been a crazy week. <laughs> so first off, I just want to give everyone a big thank you to everyone who has reached out to us via email, via Instagram, via comments on our channel, just asking if we're okay. We're good. It's uh, <laughs> It's been a very historic week where we live and if you don't know, we are in the deepest freeze we've ever seen, um, in our lifetime anyway, and Texas is not prepared for this. So I think a lot of people, I mean, even my sister who lives in Kansas makes fun of us, even though she is born Texan uh, and lived here for about half of her life. She likes to make fun of us because we don't know how to handle this weather, and it's not just the cold, it's the roads but well, we don't know how to drive on ice because we don't get that much ice no, um, it's actually been a few years since we've had road issues due to weather yeah i mean it doesn't happen every year it's not like anything that we're used to we don't have snow tires we don't have chains we don't and have road crews yeah, that go this, out and sand um, everything they basically in texas the <laughs> city's plan for one big snowstorm a year and that's, that's one day. all the equipment that we have. That's one day. That's all the stuff they've got to get just the major roads. Yes. They don't do any of the smaller roads, towns, roads, anything. No. Mm -mm. And residents here in Texas, we don't have like snow shovels or anything like that to clear a path to get out of our garage into the street, even if we could. We don't got <laughs> snow blowers. No, we don't have any of that. We don't got boilers down in the basement. Most no. of the houses here don't even have basements. Yeah. The, yeah. We don't have basements in Texas. It's very, very rare. But, yeah, this week has been brutal. But, but it could have been worse. We got us. off easy, I think. Yeah. So, we have been on a rolling power outage schedule, which, as time went on, the longer and longer it would go to the point where we were scared it wasn't going to come back on at all. Then we had to start boiling water uh, for consumption. And luckily, I don't know if it was, I, she, you think it was my I mom. I think it was your mama. One party that we must have had here a few years ago, a giant what, drinking dispenser, dispenser um, was left here at the house. So we've been boiling water and pouring it into that so we can disperse the water to brush our teeth it's made it to much wash easier our hands to drink to cook with all of that stuff so it has been crazy i've never had to boil water before for consumption Neither have I. this is totally new and at first we were scared because how are we going to store the water that we boil so we have it ready when we need it we were without internet for four days. That was the roughest part, y'all. It really was, because <laughs> this is different than quarantine, I feel like, because we didn't have the means to keep ourselves entertained. Yeah. Um, especially, you know, it gets it gets darker earlier in the winter time, so it would get dark super early, and your camping equipment came in handy. That's right. She was glad I had a, a, a lantern to this time. And some flashlights and... And yes, Disney toy lover on Instagram, she did show me a whole new world, and I did not like it. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Um, but we've, we've been trying to keep everyone updated on our Instagram feed, um, just because it's this is something that we've never really experienced. So first it started with a tragic accident um, a few days before the actual snowstorm really hit, and it involved 133 cars that were in a pile up. I that, think six died? Yeah, six died, and it stretched for over a mile and a half long. And this, it was so devastating to watch. I have seen the footage of it actually happening. Did you see it? Yeah, that's what's mm. got me. When it mm. first happened, it was a big truck. It was a big 18-wheeler truck. And there was already a pileup going on, and it was black ice. It was during morning rush hour, and it just couldn't stop. And it flew and crushed over several cars mm -hmm. um but it, you know those essential workers at the hospitals and stuff like that yeah i heard a story about a lady that was actually in that big car pile up 133 yeah. car pile up she was a nurse mm -hmm. she, she saw a co-worker that was driving past the accident flagged him down got in the car and, and went, went to work, work. 
I mean, and just left everything there at the site of the accident because yeah. she was an essential worker. And she, she needed that to she get to work. She needed to be at work, which is essential workers are incredible. They yeah. are truly incredible people. And then we had, a, I think, when did the snow start? Monday? I think it started on Monday, which we were actually, we we're like, dang it, it's a holiday. We already have the That's day right. Off. It started yeah. Sunday night. Yeah. And we already had Monday off as a holiday. And down here, when it snows, you get a snow day because yeah. we ain't used to it. So yeah. we were like, Oh, man, we already have tomorrow off. Tuesday, we'll go back to work. Yeah. But no, That's it not did not happened. stop. And snow was falling. Ice was forming. We got, um, we're up a little bit north of Dallas-Fort Worth. Um, and it was negative six here, which I've never, I don't think I've ever experienced single digit temperatures, let alone negative temperatures. And with the, the rolling electricity on and off, uh, it was very hard to keep our house warm whenever we did have power yeah. and uh, trying to get one load of laundry done in between the power outages was very we had to time it <laughs> uh, as soon as the power came on we like okay make a plan the next time the power comes on we need to heat up food we need to start the dryer we need to do this and take advantage of it while we could and all the while not having internet was very very brutal uh <laughs> It we was, spoiled, y'all. It was brutal. Um, <laughs> just, just, I mean, yeah. I mean, what else are you gonna do if you had to stay at home and you can't? It, it, with, with electricity, at least we we're able to turn on the TV, watch some news, maybe watch a show or two that was on our DVR, and then it would go off and it would be off for an hour, hour and a half. I don't know what she was doing, but during the day. When we were cycling through with no power, I would pick up yeah, a book and I would read a book. Yeah. So, I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> it's so hard to come up with things to do, but <laughs> it is now Thursday and we have power. Um, so far, so good. We have um, another load going right now. Because we, we had to wash our big heavy sweatshirts because that's pretty much all we have. Basically, yeah. <laughs> our heaviest jacket is a hoodie. Yeah, that's what Texans own, our hoodies. <laughs> and, yeah, it's just been crazy. Uh, no, I don't think our pipes froze. but Our we, pipes our, did not freeze. Our water did get shut off for a while, and that was really scary. Um, just because, I mean, you need to bathe. <laughs> you need to wash your hands. Uh, things like that. So, it's just been... An experience and we have actually had the entire week off so like I said today is Thursday that we're filming this and um, you've been out Tuesday Wednesday and today mm hmm we already have Friday off which is her birthday um, mm -hmm. I had that off that day off too um, I even though I work from home I can't work from home without electricity and internet it's kind of had to have hard internet to have internet. to work yeah mm -hmm. so um, this is basically my third day off uh, this week which would have been the third day I worked this week on you know if there was no weather issues so we basically both got a free week off because of all of this but it's just been crazy and I am so glad we went grocery shopping I think on Saturday uh-huh normally we do our grocery shoppings on Saturdays but if we have like if Monday is a holiday we move laundry day from Sunday to Monday which we didn't do laundry, so that's why we're doing it now in the middle of the week. <laughs> um, we tend to push things because we have an extra day off. So we're like, yeah, we'll have Saturday be our lazy day. We'll go grocery shopping Sunday and whatnot. But I'm so glad we did um, yeah. because I don't know what we would have done. Because <laughs> there's there's no way to get out of our driveway. Mm -hmm. There's there's no way. Uh, yeah, and I def definitely don't want to drive on the roads. And with tomorrow being her birthday, we had plans to go to the Disney store, make, you know, Mommy birthday we haven't been out to the mall since summer, August, I, I think, think it was August Yeah, was the last time we went to the mall um, to venture out and, you know, we're like, okay, it'll be a work day. Everybody will be at work. So it won't be as crowded. It'll be less of a risk. That yeah, may not happen. We don't <laughs> we know. Don't know. But you guys are so very sweet to think of us in these times because... Texas is just we, not used to this. We can't handle this, y'all. Well, and only that, we had two snowstorms within three days. Yeah. And that just never, has never happened. I've never seen snow like this before in Texas. But thank you guys so much for reaching out and checking in on us. Um, this is definitely uh, 
and start to another crazy year. I mean, just look what happened in January. And now this weather stuff, like, how is this better than 2020? <laughs> it's still a dumpster fire, y'all. When is it gonna get better? That, that's what I know. When is it gonna get better? Um, we are finally warming up. I think we're, the last time I checked our weather, uh, we're at 21 degrees, which is the warmest we've been since Monday. Um, so even though the ice and snow is not melting, it's going in the right direction. So there's that. <laughs> <sighs> it's crazy, y'all. It is crazy. I just, I want our water to be okay again because this boiling, I, I keep forgetting I'm boiling and <laughs> half of it evaporates because I forgot I had it boiling. So, uh, yeah, we're running a little low on boiled water. We need to get that filled up. Uh-oh. Uh, just want to come on here and let you guys know that we're okay. It's been crazy. It's been a different experience than quarantine, but I think you're kind of, you kind of got a little taste of quarantine just without internet. In yeah. Power. <laughs> so, kind of. Hmm. You haven't really had a taste of quarantine truly yet. And I think this was just like a little extra with your quarantine experience. Yeah. No internet sucks. Yeah. Everything is on the internet, you guys. Everything. <laughs> All right. So that's just everything. We wanted to let you guys know that we're okay. And thank you for thinking of us. And if you see us sitting here with natural light for a few videos coming up in the future, that's why uh, we, we're just trying to, to preserve as much energy as possible. And with the bright white ground, we have a lot of natural light coming in. So we're going to take advantage of it. Might as well again. use it. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.